Hello, folks. This is Sue Bell from Network Empire. I'm here with Jimmy Kelly and Russell Wright. We're doing a set of videos for OMG. And these are the intro videos where we're going to show you some fundamentals of setting up a silo structured website that we'll build on in later videos so that you'll see um, five iframe punch and the one feed and ultimately the domain authority stacking videos where we'll come back around and use this site again to give you a complete example of how to implement these ideas. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right in. I've got here a fresh blog and I've installed into this blog our deep silo builder plugin, which you should find a link to here within this members area because um, we're going to give you that as part of this course. And then to find some keywords, we're going to come over here to the last keyword tool and we're going to do some drills um, because this is Jimmy's favorite keyword tool. So he uh, will have these keywords ready um, when he gets to the domain authority stacking and shows you how you can reuse these drills to create um, what you need for that aspect. So in this example, we've got um, an e-cigarette site that we're building. We've got some e-cig affiliate products that we're going to sell. One of them is green smoke. So we've done a green smoke electronic cigarettes drill. And then as we looked around at keywords, we decided that we should also do an electronic cigarettes silo. So we've drilled into a couple of other ideas with that. And I'll show you now how we're going to set up the silos. And then we come back and find out the supporting articles that we're going to use underneath those silos. So just let me back up here for a second for those of you that are unfamiliar with what a silo structure is. The idea is you've got your homepage and website, and then you've got what we call silo landing pages or silo pages. And these are in a menu on every single page on your website. And then when you click down into one of these pages, you see only the pages underneath that particular silo. So if this is about green smoke, then these are going to be a other pages that support that green smoke cigarette product, right? So then if you've got over here a different vendor, these are going to be the pages that support that particular vendor. And then if you've got generic concepts, then you've got other pages that support that generic concept. And the idea behind that is when you have a cluster of pages linked together, it needs at least five pages linked together. When you have a cluster like that linked together, it establishes the theme on your site. And when you establish the theme on your site, then you need fewer inbound links to establish that theme. And we've been doing silos for a long, long time. And I can say that Google has moved more and more toward the uh, having that on-site relevance be a defining factor. So in other words, um, particularly within the last couple of years, they look more and more for a, a quantity of on-page concepts to establish your authority in that topic and give you higher rankings. So that's why we do silo structures. And, and now here in our Deep Silo Builder plugin, I'm going to come here to the Manual Builder section, and we're going to just create a couple of silos by hand. So the first silo we're going to do is going to be Green Smoke. And the second silo that we're going to do is going to be electronic cigarettes. And I'm going to add those now. And it just takes a moment. The builder goes out and it adds categories and static pages. And now underneath this, we're going to add, we want some supporting keywords. So let's go to the last keyword tool. And let's take a look at green smoke cigarettes. And... Um, and in this theme, we're going to take a look and see what kind of ideas would be good ones to have as supporting pages underneath the green smoke silo. So as you look down through here, you can see this idea of reviews, brands. Um, we've got um, coupons. You've got more coupons. You've got the idea of juice. And I think another idea that we saw earlier that was a pretty profitable one was um, starter kits. So as you can see here, the way the keyword has come back because of the way we drilled into it, it's got green smoke repeated in that. 
Now, it's not a good idea to repeat green smoke over and over and over again when you're in the silo because that could bring a panda penalty. So what we're going to do is just pick green smoke and we're just going to take this list of keywords that we just talked about without the green smoke in front of it and just have reviews, brands, coupons, juice, and starter kit. So we're going to take that and we're going to add those underneath the green smoke and it takes another minute again for the page to paint and you can see now we've got all of these pages underneath that. So we're going to do a similar thing for electronic cigarettes. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention is I'm actually using a filter here. You can see the, uh, the total number of keywords in this drill is 232. But in order to get like just a smaller list so that we can kind of see just the good stuff, we applied a filter, which is called the supporting keywords filter. And you click on that and you click apply a filter and it just does its little boogie and sorts out the good stuff. So now I'm going to go back to my queue and I'm going to find one of our um, e-cigarettes. Let's try this one. I'm not sure where we actually came up with this keyword list. I have a keyword list off the screen here so that we would save time as when we're looking back through the keywords and not go um, um, um. And, uh, and now that we've done that, I'm not quite sure where we were. Oh, that's fascinating. So, we, we had the idea here of like vapor cigarettes, vapor e cigs. Um, we had the idea of best. Does this look at all familiar to me? Are we in the right area? Um, I think it is, but I think you're you need to look at uh. That other drill is going to be in the project section because that one is just electronic cigarettes. Ah, okay. That makes sense. There we go. Something you drilled into earlier. So now these concepts that we were looking at with vapor cigarette ought to come up easier. Vapor cigarette. So that's a pure diverse, like that, that keyword. We've got pure diverse, partially diverse, long tail, and seed. And the idea with a pure diverse is that it doesn't contain any of the original keywords. So it doesn't contain either electronic or cigarettes. Um, in vapor cigarette, it's got cigarette instead of cigarettes. So those are good keywords to look for because it, um, it mixes up. It gives you a lot of keyword diversity, which Google looks for, and it also keeps you out of Panda filters. So we have vapor cigarettes. We were looking at this idea of best electronic cigarette. We've got um, smokeless was another idea that came along in here. So one of the things that I really want to point out is you get this list of, of keywords back, but you're not stuck taking these keywords verbatim the way that you see them, right? So <clears throat> use your discretion a little bit and figure out, um, you can go for broader terms. Let me just show you this for a second. You can go for broader terms here when you're under this because, let me turn all these on. Let me just come here to pages. Um, I think if we show them how the URL string looks, it that's what that's exactly sense. what I was thinking. Uh, edit all of these bad boys, and let's put them all to published. And I might have to turn a menu on. Let me just see what this looks like. All right. So then, if we come here to green smoke, and we come here to reviews. Then you can see here the URL string has got green smoke reviews. So when Google looks at that page, it's going to know that you're talking about green smoke reviews as opposed to some other brand. So in that way, the supporting articles can have larger concepts, and uh, and it's still Google's still going to know what it is that you're talking about and rank you for the right thing. So. So, with that in mind, let's come back here to the Silo Builder and the Manual Silo Builder, and we're going to pick electronic cigarettes this time. 
going to set them all to publish so that I don't have that same. have to go back and do that same thing. And let me just drop these in here. So the keywords that we found for this, the last keyword that we found, are electronic cigarettes safe? That is actually in here. Are electronic cigarettes safe? And that's really kind of cool because that's like a, an entire question, right? Like that's a pain that's in the market. And, um, and so finding questions like that can be really great articles. They can be good blog posts too that they, they'll tend to, uh, they, they do two things because it's a, a long term like that. Google really loves to see those kinds of things and you'll get a lot of good queries off of it as well. So we'll come back here and we're just going to add all of these and let it publish and it'll spin around and so then as we come up here we hit the refresh and we come into electronic cigarettes now you can see the keywords that we just added over here under electronic cigarettes so the deep silo builder all it does is it creates static pages we find that static pages rank longer easier than blog posts do so we give you in the, the deep one we give you two levels of static pages and then if you have posts it goes underneath that bottom level of static pages so in the deep silo builder you get this level of static pages and you get this level of static pages and then you can put in posts if you want to have posts you can put those in at this level that's completely optional and we find that that just makes for a site that ranks for a good long time um, because blog posts have this habit of aging and unless they've got constant um, traffic and inbound links they tend to fall out of the rankings easier. Okay, so this is the end of what we're going to show you for the money site, and we'll come back in another video and show you how you can set up a silo structure in a PBN.